the advent of cloud native computing, we have introduced container job cost tracking. The tracked cost information is intended to be used as a guide. All costs tracked are approximate. The cost information displays in ECL Watch. Job cost tracking can be very helpful in planning and configuring your HPCC systems deployment. There are three types of costs that we are tracking. The execution cost is the cost of executing the work unit, the graph and the subgraphs on the Thor cluster. Storage costs are the costs of housing the data on the storage planes. Finally, the file access costs, the cost of reading and writing to files. Many storage planes have separate charges for reading and writing files. A valuable feature which we've added is the job guillotine. The job guillotine can be configured to set a limit on the cost that a job can incur. And once the job cost reaches the limit, the job will be cut off and killed in order to prevent the possibility of a runaway job running up large usage charges. To use the job cost tracking, it's already included in the delivered values YAML configuration file. Customizing these cost values is done the same way other customizations by modifying the Helm charts. The cost values are found under the global values section of the delivered values file. Supported configuration parameters are currency code, which is used currency formatting, per CPU, which is the cost per hour of single CPU, storage at rest, the storage cost per gigabyte per month, storage reads, the cost per 10,000 read operations, and storage writes is the cost per 10,000 write operations. Additionally, there are two Thor parameters, the limit and the hard limit, which are utilized when implementing the job guillotine feature. These values are defined under any Thor section where you can set and add them as a customization. As with the other HPCC systems cloud native settings, you can choose to customize your cost tracking values using the same customization steps, which you can add to your customizations when you start your cluster. We hope that you'll be able to take advantage of these new features and really get the most out of your HPCC systems cloud deployment. For more details, more information, please refer to the HPCC systems website and official documentation. If you've learned something or if you've enjoyed this video, won't you take a second and press the like button or just let us know in the comments below. Till next time, thank you for watching.